The state capture inquiry has detailed widespread alleged corruption at security company Busasa. Former executives have revealed that the company allegedly budgeted around 6 million rand a month to bribe officials. In turn, they won state contracts worth billions. But this story is about far more than bags of cash. It's about the destruction that the scale of corruption leaves in its wake. Among many other dodgy deals, Basasa won the tender to run the Lindella Repatriation Center and its deadly clinic for the Department of Home Affairs in 2005. That contract is still running. It only ends in 2020. Lindella is haunted by human rights violations. Conditions there have sparked various investigations, court cases and inquiries since 1997. Back in 2005, 21 detainees died at Leratong Hospital after being referred from Rendella when their conditions had deteriorated to such an extent that their lives could no longer be saved. A ministerial committee then banned Basasa from providing health services at the centre. But despite the government ban, Basasa just kept winning contracts. Just three months after the Ministerial Committee banned Basasa from providing health services at Lindella, the company signed a 10-year contract to do exactly that. This was under the pretense that it would only manage Lindella's clinic until a more suitable company is found. When the 10-year deal ended, Basasa allegedly bribed its way to an extension of the original 10-year contract, which now runs until 2020. And this is to the tune of 550 million rand. But it's the detainees who are paying the real price. At the Zondo Commission hearings, former Basasa employee Franz Fulster admitted to using the Lindella contract as a cash cow to fund executives' personal festive season fund. Over Christmas, Basasa would buy 2,000 extra mattresses for Lindella and make sure they were occupied all to cash in on the home affairs per person per night fee. According to a 2016 Doctors Without Borders report, Lindella's clinic still has no access to treatment for HIV and TB. And detainees are forced to sleep under lice-infested blankets in overcrowded wards. Rumours that the centre was putting children behind bars have been circling for years, but now we have a face to back the claims. Four-year-old Sino Labanzana, a South African child, was illegally detained at Lindella. When he fell sick, he was taken to Leratong Hospital, but it was already too late. He died that same night. Basasa and hospital officials refused to tell his parents where he was buried, and to this day, they're still searching for his grave.